Good morning all and thank you for joining Peppery today. My name is Netta Weinrieb and I'm Head of Enterprise Marketing at Peppery. I will be hosting this webinar. If you have questions during the webinar, please type them in the chat window. Today's webinar is going to be about changes in wholesale and distribution of consumer packaged goods. We will start by taking a closer look at the role of the sales rep and how technology is changing it. We will then turn the mic over to our customer, Glenn Sherling from OG Eyewear, who will share their experience using technology to improve the efficiency of their sales force. We will demo the system that their sales force is using today. Many of the changes we're talking about were brought about by the mobile revolution. We all enjoy it in our daily lives, and it has a tremendous effect on wholesale and distribution too. We will sum things up by reviewing the top changes based on what we hear from our customers. We have over a thousand of them that are crucial for success. Very briefly, I'd like to introduce Peppery. As I mentioned, Peppery has been helping brands and wholesalers to transform their businesses since 2011. Our 1,000 customers' thoughts, ideas, and feedback are the basis of what we're going to share in this webinar. One of the main issues our customers are concerned with is the changing role of the sales rep. Are we going to see sales reps in the field in three, in three years? Are we going to see them there eight years from now? What will be their role? So here's, a few th here's how things work today. We all know that we have manufacturers and wholesalers using sales reps and merchandisers who visit the retailers and generate business. That's great. The only issue is that management uses ERP to run its business. They use it to manage manufacturing, the warehouse, financials. The work of the field sales force today is not part of the ERP. With mobility, sales transactions are initiated, manipulated, and completed together with the customer in the field. Making these processes part of the ERP is a natural next step. The internet has introduced an array of, of opportunities for CPG brands and wholesalers to expand the reach to new customers. They can now add new sales channels such as B2B self-service portal. So how do these changes affect the role of the salesperson? Today, most sales reps use cut paper catalogs, enter orders manually, and send them to the back office. Orders are not based on real-time inventory checks, so correcting them is another time-consuming task, as is creating reports and activity summaries. The sales rep time is spent on simple, manual, and time-consuming activities, which leave him little time for relationship management and new business development. With field sales automation, a salesperson can use the wealth of customer information at his fingertips to plan his business activities, arrive to a meeting ready with full knowledge of his customer's business situation and history. During the meeting, the sales rep can place orders that go directly to the ERP for fulfillment. The sales rep has more time for marketing and merchandising activities. So to conclude, the sales rep leaves, but it's a different sales rep. Sales operation managers have told us that tablets improve the image of the sales people as being forward thinkers and problem solvers. This is the right time, I think, to introduce Glenn Sherling from OG Eyewear. Glenn set out to grow OG's business. Let's, let's see how he did it. Hi, Glenn. Thank you for the introduction. And um, as mentioned, my name is Glenn Sherling, and I'm the head of operations at a eyewear company in the U.S. called OG Eyewear. And my task is really to be responsible to drive growth, as many of you on the call today. The key challenge is to really look for those growth strategies that can provide strategic leadership and really drive our company to the next level. And importantly, what we've had to do is invest in terms of some of the company structure itself to augment some of the growth. So an exciting time at OG Eyewear. What are we about? Well, quickly, our company is really built on four pillars. Innovation, originality, quality, and delivering really a strong value proposition. And when, when our company was started on a simple notion of our founder and designer, Dave Spencer, at the time, owned an opt optical store. And really, what he discovered very quickly is there was a real opportunity, a hole in the market. And that was really the creation that led to the forming of OG Eyewear, which we're proud to say now is really an internationally recognized brand. We've been able to have some strong growth over the years where we've expanded our operations and we've increased our product offerings and the number of styles that we've developed each year. 
We've increased not only styles, but we've launched several new brands. And we've really remained true to our kind of core essence of what we're about in terms of delivering style, substance, and, import and importantly, an affordable luxury. Who do we sell to? Well, we have a unique selling sweet spot that we really sell to retail, optical, and independent, independent optical stores worldwide. So really, how did our growth strategies uh, start to become live, and how were they really um, being implemented? Well, it was really led in 2010 where we made a big strategic decision to really um, shift some of our enterprise systems and go with SAP. And we, we augmented that in 2013 where we really added a state-of-the-art state warehouse management system where we were really, for the first time, really identifying technology and innovation to help us drive growth. This past year, we identified a second strategic initiative where we really were going to use technology to drive efficiencies in our sales channel. As I mentioned before, we're really selling to independent entrepreneurs, small businessmen that own optical stores around the country. So what we really look to do is to launch Peppery to drive sales efficiency and provide operational effectiveness. What we really needed was a more effective sales tool that could increase our sales performance and how we were being presented in the marketplace. Our sales operation is pretty fragmented. We have over 50 reps around North America, both in US and Canada, and they are busy. We average, on, a, on average, we, we get roughly almost 1,400 orders a month. And I'm proud to say our sales reps visit probably about 75 to 100 of their retail customers during any given month. So they are busy, and efficiency is really a key tenant of what we needed to provide to them. So our challenge really, as we've made, is not only look for growth, but we were really looking to increase our sales to our key, key retail customers, those independent optical stores. How did we really need to do that? We really, as I've said, needed to increase our sales productivity. Our salespeople are out in their given territory, and they're making a lot of sales calls. They're out in the marketplace. We needed to make sure that they were as productive and effective as possible. So really what we looked for as a part of this process were what are the opportunities that we could deliver efficiency. And we knew efficiency would translate into more effectiveness and increased sales. So really looking at two key areas of our sales challenge where we were looking to drive growth, innovation, and that was really the sales processing side and the ordering function. The manual right now, as we looked at our, our, the way that our 50 plus field sales people operate, it's really a manual order taking process, which is really time consuming. Frankly, I'd rather have our sales reps spend their time with our customers rather than writing orders. It's, it's prone to many errors as, as, as they're writing fast. It's then getting sent back to the back office that manually has to order that and, and hand data entry that into our systems. The number of times it's touched is, out, is just overwhelming. So we look, as we looked at a part of this process, kind of our key must-haves, what were our requirements, is we needed to deliver a paperless orders taking system. It needed to and it had to link with SAP. One of our pivotal kind of must-haves is that it had to work more friendly with our system. It needed to be user-friendly for our sales force because we have 50 salespeople that are out in the field, extremely busy, and frankly, not really probably that strong in the technology quotient. So it had to be easy. And it also had to use, be able to be used both in an offline and online mode. So what was our solution? Well, we really looked for the cloud-based um, system that really, really could deliver um, a stunning e-catalog because after all we are in the fashion business and it had to be simple to use and as we've mentioned before it had to sync with SAP. So we put pretty strong requirements out there on what we were looking for and we really were going to hold tight to coming up with a solution that gave us everything we wanted and then some. And really our experience is this is where Peppery came in and Peppery was able to really give us all of our must-haves it's a cloud-based mobile order management system. Our sales folks anywhere in North America can access it from anywhere. It's easy to use. 
no training for, required for our reps, very minimal time we've spent actually showing them how to use Peppery. Really, all kidding aside, their training is more in technology, but how Peppery you, is able to be used in functions was turnkey. I'm proud to say that it does integrate with SAP, and it provides the seamless access that our IT teams were using. And I will say the startup of a part of the process was almost flawless. The Peppery development team worked hand in hand with our OG team and all along the process we communicated what did we have to have to make it work for our organization. Secondly, as a part of the startup process, we even customized it a little bit further when we recognized some of the specific nuances of our business and what had to happen to be able to make it work even better. And as you can see on the screenshot here, our homepage, we were able to add additional functionality to Peppery to make our sales team equally more effective and deliver efficiencies. So what happened? Well, the SAP ERP integration, I'm proud to say, has eliminated the need for duplicate data entry. It's, it's significantly reduced our order processing errors. And as a result of that, our whole order to cash cycle has been streamlined and, and frankly, from a business standpoint, one of the greatest benefits that we could ever ask for. What we've also done is simplify the simplify our process. Our whole order taking process is now in real time, which gives my salespeople more time to make more phone, more calls or be more effective with the customers with where they are currently at. And importantly, we've now given them some free time to build the pipeline, to look for new sales opportunities, new leads, new growth potential. What we've also seen is our sales force has increased in terms of their overall motivation and their satisfaction with what they're doing. They're able to make, make new sales calls, meet new people, look for different opportunities instead of handwriting sales orders. And importantly, our internal staff is able to, to be deployed differently to focus on larger strategic issues versus in the past they were focused just on data entry and hand entering orders into our system. So it's allowed us to be more efficient in terms of maintaining our overall staffing, but yet I've been able to increase the scope of work and have them work on larger initiatives that previously had gone untouched. So again, as we look at what's gone on with Peppery, Peppery's provided the effectiveness that we are looking for to help our salespeople sell more and the efficiency both in the field sales force and the back office. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much, Glenn, for this excellent um, presentation. We will now ask Nir, my uh, colleague, to uh, demo a system that is very much like the system that OG Iwars uh, salespeople are using. Go ahead, Nir. Thank you very much, Neta. I'm about to demonstrate Peppery mobile application and walk you through a daily workflow of Iwars sales rep. The first screen is a, of the application can be configured, of course, to present the brand image or the organization um, home screen. The first thing the rep can see is new messages coming from management. New messages can be about everything the manager wants to broadcast to reps or to send a private message to one of the, rep, one of the reps and also to be able to send tasks to, to the reps. Here you can see configurable buttons to lead the rep to the relevant screens in the application. The first step will be to go to my accounts and to open my personal calendar to see the plan for today. Here on the left side we can see the meetings which are relevant for today which can be planned by the rep on the mobile device or by the manager from the back office. The schedule of today can also be seen on the map, like you can see here. The first meeting, second, third, and fourth meeting of today. If, if we tap on the meetings, we can see more information about the customer and the meeting. We can have some links to different screens in the application, and we can also use the mobile device to navigate with different navigation application uh, to drive to the customer. Of course, all those meetings can also be integrated into the personal calendar of the rep to be presented on the smartphone, Outlook, etc. 
To see more information about the customer, we can go to the customer information page in which you can see any kind of information integrated from the ERP, for example SAP. Um, you can have different type of fields and attachments, for example contract with the customer. We can see images um, at the point of sale. We can see some contacts, multiple contacts for different roles, for example the store manager, the buyer, the owner, etc. And of course the information can be updated uh, by the rep and integrated back into the ERP. The next step will be to select the customer. <clears throat> the first step is to see um, the notifications which will summarize all the information which is important for the rep to know about the customer. Here we can see that we have some open debts. We can, we can see that we have a planned visit with the customer and we have an open task. If we drill down into that, for example, we can see the list of all invoices. Uh, we can get into each invoices to see exactly what was ordered, what was shipped, what was not shipped, etc. And be able to discuss it with the customer. The account dashboard, this part of the account dashboard includes analytics and statistics about, uh, about the customer. The idea is to provide the rep with the, with the relevant information to be able to take decisions based on data and to be able to have a smart, uh, a smart discussion with the customer. Those um, statistics and analytics can be configured and customized by the organization to make sure each rep will get the relevant information which can help him to sell more and to be more productive. This part of the account dashboard is about activities. Here you can see the latest activities. So if I want to remind myself what happened, what was the last order, for example, I can go here and open the last order and make sure I know exactly what kind of items the customer ordered. We can go back in history to see, to see the, uh, the latest uh, phone call summary or the latest uh, pictures I took at the point of sale, etc. If I want to see more history, I can go here to activity list to see a pre-configured list of uh, lists of history for different activities like sales orders, invoices, visit reports, etc. We can also um, filter those uh, reports. For example, if I want to see only the open orders, so I go here to select the not shipped orders and then just see the list of not shipped orders, discuss it with the customer, drill down into each one of them to see exactly the status according to the information coming from the ERP. The next step now will, go, will be to take the order. We select the transaction type, for example the sales order, and then we are linked to the multiple selection of uh, catalogs. We can go and select the relevant catalog according to different brands, different collections, etc. <clears throat> then we are linked into the order center. Here we can select the, the relevant view. We have the medium, we have the small view, we have the large view which can be flipped as if it is a printed catalog. We have the film strip in which you can see multiple images for the same item. We have the variants which is very popular for the eyewear industry in which you can see um, all the different variants of the same style. So you can see here exactly how many um, products I've ordered um, for, for, the same, uh, for the same style. We can have the grid line. Here we can see more information, more configured information for each item and we can just take orders very quickly using the plus and minus buttons. And we can have the barcode view which, which is very relevant if you want to use a barcode scanner just to take orders very quickly and efficient, efficiently. Just scanning the, the order, the product will add it into the order. The next step is to navigate through the catalog. The first and basic feature is of course to be able to search. You can just type in few letters and the system will help you to find the item you want without to complete. Very similar to Google. Here you, you, you get to the item and you can just go and take the order. The next step is to be able to navigate within the catalog. We have three levels of navigation. The first one is selecting the main category. It can be the brand or different main categories. Then you have those 
smart filters, which are the main tool we provide you as managers to guide the reps the way the catalog should be presented in the, in, in the best way to the customer in order, of course, to sell more. You can define exactly what, what are the groups which will be presented at the beginning and what are the groups which will be uh, postponed to later later stage of the presentation. You can have groups by promoted items, new collections, new arrivals, top items. You can have filters by dynamic rules of the price and the, and the stock, etc. And in each group you can decide what is the sorting method to make sure the most important items will be presented at the beginning. And the beautiful thing here is that you can optimize this structure of catalog as long as you get uh, feedback with, uh, from, from the field. And then you can get to, to a better level of presentation of the catalog to the customer. <clears throat> if, you want to see more inform um, if you want to see more information about the item, you can, of course, configure here the information which is more important for you. And then you can just click on the I button to get the item information page. Here you can see any kind of information integrated from the ERP. You can have sales statistics, availability of different variants, and you can see marketing information or technical information in attachments like PDF, videos, and everything can work offline. You can also have some links to web pages if you want to show more information about the item from the website or if you want to show marketing video from, from YouTube, for example. Another level of navigation is the smart search. So, for example, let's say that the customer wants to talk about sunglasses and about ladies and unisex glasses and about stainless steel products. Then we drill down very easily into the relevant section of the catalog. We can take orders from here and continue to the next step. Once the order is ready, we can go to the cart. The cart will summarize, of course, the ordered items. Of course, all the columns here can be configured and each column can be defined as editable or read-only. You can have, for example, remark for each line. You can have delivery date for each line. We can take the signature of the customer. We can present the, uh, the order in a PDF format. We can have different customized PDF templates. PDFs can be sent to, the, to anyone automatically, manually, or also printed at the point of sale. Once we want to um, submit the order, we're pressing the submit button, then the system will make sure the rep fills in all the mandatory fields. Here we have all the information about the order, the delivery date, we can select the branch. We can see that the delivery method is mandatory, so we selected the relevant mandatory, and of course this form can be configured according to the information you need for each order. Once we are ready, we can submit the order. Of course, if we have internet connection, everything will go automatically immediately into the server and to the ERP, and if uh, um, we don't have connectivity, the order will stay offline on the device waiting for the connectivity to come back. Once the ordering process is done, we can go to summarize the meeting, for example. We can have a visit report. Uh, this is a custom form in, in which we can fill all the information expected from us to report back to management or to take notes for ourselves. We can, we can take pictures if we want to um, to remember exactly how the items are presented on the shelf, uh, to compare it to the contract with the customer, or to compare it, compare it with competitors. So we can take pictures at the point of sale. We can have customer satisfaction survey, just interviewing the customer and to understand better the satisfaction level of the customer and to report it um, to the management and to the marketing team. And all those are just custom forms that we can build. We can also have a reminder to remind ourselves to call the customer um, uh, next week to make sure the order was uh, delivered. Uh, we can also open a task for one of my colleagues to just to go and, uh, and visit the customer or call the customer. 
So this is a kind of activities we can have during the visit with the customer or after the visit with the customer. So this was a short overview on a daily workflow of uh, iWare sales rep. Thank you very much. Back to you, Netta. Thank you, Nir, for this demo. As was mentioned, mobility and device availability are the key enablers of change. As you can see in Gartner's research, 85% of business people surveyed are using or plan to use Salesforce automation apps. But what operating system are they using? 31% of respondents stated that iOS was their exclusive strategy. However, most surveys, 55% of them, mentioned that they were planning to use a mix of operation, operating systems. It is clear that the mixed operation, operating system approach attributed to bring your own device BYOD initiatives or simply companies offering device choice is key for more than 50% of sales organizations. One other interesting slice of data is that 86% of sales organizations have at least 20% of their salespeople using iOS, with Android second at 60%. When asked whether mobility has improved business outcomes for their sales force, 25% stated that it has significantly helped their salespeople achieve their business objectives. 80% of the companies that implemented mobility have seen that it helped their salespeople achieve their business objectives. To conclude this webinar, I'd like to sum things up by looking at the five changes organizations must make to survive transformations in wholesale and distribution. We've all seen how internet changed our industries. Goods are readily available to consumers online and this has introduced competition of a new type and a significant pressure on prices and margins. The retailers you work with use the internet and have come to expect a similar experience when dealing with you, the manufacturers and wholesalers. So what are the changes you must make so you can better cope with the industry's transformation? The first change, embrace omnichannel. If your retailers are now used to purchasing online, let them do the same with you. A direct B2B channel will reduce your sales costs, enable your retailers to order more often, and leave your reps time to work on the larger strategic deals. Another way to reduce costs, as we've seen, is to automate field sales and help your reps be more productive. Your sales reps' performance can also be improved by making it easy and simple for them to increase order size by offering preset promotions such as upsell and cross-sell. With more time on their hands, your organization can perform better if your sales reps will spend their time on business development, merchandising, and marketing. Marketing's reach and role in the field is becoming increasingly uh, important. Field sales plays a crucial part by letting marketing know what actually happens in the field and by making sure marketing initiatives are properly translated into actions. So these have been the five changes organizations must make to survive transformations in wholesale and distribution. Thank you all for joining our webinar. Uh, we will now open the floor for questions.